Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem. It says that Mia has 20 black marbles and 15 red marbles. Alex has 8 black marbles and some red marbles. The ratio of the number of black marbles to the number of red marbles that Mia has is the same as the ratio of the number of black marbles to the number of red marbles that Alex has. Find the number of red marbles that Alex has. Okay, let's put this on a model first, okay? So Mia has 20 black marbles. So let's say that these are 20 black marbles and she has 15 red marbles. So let's suppose that this is 15. Okay, so these are the black marbles that Mia has and these are the red marbles that she has. And these are... 20 in number and these are 15 in number okay and this is what Mia has got okay now what is the ratio of the number of black marbles to the number of red marbles that Mia has well the ratio is quite simply 20 to 15 because she has 20 black marbles to 15 red marbles so the ratio is 20 to 15 which means that for the 20 black marbles that Mia has, she has got 15 red marbles. But is there a way to simplify this? Well, actually, let's see. If we divide both of these terms, okay, each of these terms by 5, okay, so I divide 20 by 5 and I also divide 15 by 5. Then what do I get? I get 20 divided by 5, which is 4, and 15 divided by 5, which is 3. So what I get is a new ratio 4 to 3. And this means that for every 4 black marbles that Mia has, she has 3 red marbles, which is quite true. If I take this whole lot of 20 black marbles and this whole lot of 15 red marbles, then I can rearrange them in sets so that for every four black marbles, there are three red marbles. Actually, let me show that to you here. If I have a set here of four black marbles and three red marbles, okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm dividing this whole lot of 20 black marbles and this whole lot of 15 red marbles into sets of four black marbles and three red marbles, okay? And then we'll see that how this ratio 20 to 15 is really equal to the ratio 4 to 3, okay? So if she has 20 black marbles and 15 red marbles, this is really the same as saying that she has black to red marbles in the ratio 4 to 3. All right, so what we have done here is we have made a set of four black marbles and three red marbles, okay? Now, how many sets will it take? to put all these 20 black marbles and these 15 red marbles into such sets? Well, actually, if I copy it a few times, I'll know how many sets I'll need. So one and two and three and four. So far I have four sets and let's see how many marbles we've used so far. So four plus four plus four plus four, that's 16. And over here is three plus three plus three plus three, which is 12. So if we put another set of four black and three red marbles then we have used up all 20 black marbles because we have five sets now right we've got five sets of four black marbles and three red marbles so what we see here is that if we take this whole lot of 20 black marbles and 15 red marbles that Mia has got and divide them into five sets, then we get a new ratio, which is four to three, which tells us that for every four black marbles that Mia has got, she's got three red marbles. So in this problem statement, what we see now is that the ratio of the number of black marbles to the number of red marbles that Mia has is four to three. All right. Now, what's next is this ratio is the same as the ratio of the number of black marbles to the number of red marbles that Alex has. Okay. Now, what does Alex have? Well, Alex has got eight black marbles. So, if we put his eight black marbles here, okay, so this is Alex and Alex has got eight black marbles and he's got some red marbles. Now, we don't know how many those some are, but we'll just put a block of some size just to show that he has got some red marbles as well okay now he's got eight black marbles so this is eight 
and this is something we don't know. So let's put a question mark here. All right, now what's the ratio of black marbles to red marbles that Alex has? Well, the ratio is 8 to a missing term. Now what we know from the problem statement is that this ratio 4 to 3 is the same as this ratio 8 to this missing term. So this should mean that if we simplify this ratio 8 to this missing term, then what we must get is 4 to 3. So just like with Mia's marbles, what we can do with Alex's marbles that if we take his 8 black marbles and his red marbles, then we should be able to arrange those marbles into sets of 4 black marbles for every 3 red marbles. So let's do that. If we make a set here of four black marbles and three red marbles then how many sets can we put his eight black marbles into well actually quite simple we'll need just two sets right because each set has got four black marbles and to put eight marbles into sets we we'll need only two sets so four plus four which is eight now since each of these two sets has got four black marbles and Alex has got eight black marbles in all we need to make only two sets right two sets each containing four black marbles but we also know that each set has also got three red marbles so in all how many red marbles are there well quite simply three plus three or three times two because there are two sets right two sets of four black marbles and three red marbles so it's simply three times two and three times two is six so this missing term over here is six and we can verify that if we divide six by two okay which is two sets if we divide the six marbles that Alex has got into two sets then what we get is three red marbles into each of those two sets so we divide both the terms of the ratio eight also by two and six also by two then what we get is four to three so there you go you found out how many red marbles Alex has and Alex has got six red marbles now what's important to note over here is that if there are two ratios that are same, in our case 20 to 15 and 8 to 6, then we should be able to simplify each of these ratios to a common ratio. And in our case that is 4 to 3. And that is the key to solving such problems. Well, all right, that brings us to the end of this word problem, which I hope you understood how to solve. And I hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.